it's Delisha, and today I am going to be giving my first impressions of the Intima Ziggy Cup. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with what that is, it is a menstrual disc, um, a popular thing that um, more people might know of is the diva cup that is a menstrual cup so they're like similar but different the disc is more of like a flat shape thing instead of like the actual um cup to kind of fit across the opening of your vagina so that the blood can collect into it instead of it being right up against your cervix it's a lot for those who aren't familiar but um i bought this yesterday what it looks like it's wet because I just washed it um but it's fairly large I've been using um my Kaya diaphragm and for those of you who are unfamiliar with that um you might have learned in school about diaphragms um as a form of birth control and it um sits over your cervix so that the the sperm does not have an entry point to it and you combine that with spermicide to kill anything that might try to slip past it um, but the kaya diaphragm is not one that needs to be fitted it's um like a one size fits all kind of thing and it's very similar in design to that so let me get that so i can show you how they compare okay so i have the kaya diaphragm so this is what that looks like so you can see they're fairly similar in size now the the kaya has like this little thing here so that it tucks behind your your pelvic bone to make sure that it stays in grip the the ziggy doesn't have that but it has like a, a firm grip base around it which is supposed to help um, keep everything in place so i ordered that yesterday off of amazon um, got it same day delivered, which lucky for me because <laughs> I needed it. So I'd say in comparison to menstrual cups, they're easier to get in and out for me. Granted, I've been using, again, my diaphragm as a menstrual disc for a while now, which you're not supposed to do, but the cups, they just... They never get in there right for me because I have um, a tilted or inverted uterus. So it's like flipped backwards. You can Google that. Um, so the cups, the way they're designed are for people whose uteruses are not inverted. And that design shape and how it's supposed to fit in there and all of that jazz doesn't work for me because mine's backwards. So I need something that's not meant to go all the way up there and fit super properly. It just needs something to cover the opening. So I've been using my diaphragm and like that doesn't really hold anything because it's not supposed to. So I've done my research. I know there's a few different brands that do this. They have the Intima, this is the Ziggy again. Um, there is the Nixit. I don't know what the name of that one is called. Maybe it's just Nixit, but I know the brand um, is Nixit. And then there's another one called Luma, I think, and that one's from Brazil. I don't know if those have specific names, but um, yeah. But this is like the one that was most similar to the diaphragm for me. So you can see it's kind of got like an egg shape. So if you like look at the top here, it's narrower than like the base here on the bottom. So ba barely, but it is. Um, so my first impressions are that it's fairly um, comfortable. I wouldn't say that you don't feel it because the pressure that these rims here cause on the inside like when it's expanded and everything and holding itself in place um i feel a lot of pressure which actually causes some pain however it's not enough that i'm not going to wear it and um i'm sorry if you guys can hear all the game activity going on in the background my um my fiance is playing call of duty very loudly so um with this it's not it's not enough pain to make me not wear it 
because I was like running out of tampons so I needed something and I have the cups but they never fit right and not necessarily that they hurt it's just the leaking situation with it not fitting right is not worth it and I rather take the pain than deal with leaking if you know what I mean for those who are familiar with this um, sphere of things so um, I the first time I put it in I put it with the the narrow part of the egg like facing out so if I'm inserting it this way you got the wide base towards the back and the narrow part in the front so that's how I did it the first time sorry if my camera's all over the place I'm trying to like hold this <laughs> my arms getting tired <laughs> um, yeah so I put this the narrow part of the egg in the front and that worked it hurt more which um, when I was reading the reviews on Amazon before I bought it, um, people were saying that it works better for them if they put it in backwards. So I didn't have any leaking with that. So that was great. Um, it's just like the pain was pretty intense. Well, I, w I wouldn't say intense. Again, not enough that I wouldn't wear it, but it's just like you, you know it's there. So um, when I took it out um, to clean it and everything and, and put it back in, uh, which you should do uh, regularly, I guess. I don't know. I take mine now every couple of hours. I I know you, you can probably keep it in there for like all day, but I just do every couple of hours, clean it, and then put it back in. So the next time I put it in, I put like the narrow part in the back. And for some reason, like, I don't know if it's a pain response, but it kind of felt like cooling sensation like menthol almost I'm pretty sure it's just my nerves like freaking out because they were so uncomfortable but it like didn't hurt it kind of felt invigorating I don't know um but that position worked pretty good because the pain wasn't as much as it was in the first position and again it didn't leak and I don't know I'm just impressed with the with the Ziggy cup think this will now be my go-to um can retire my diaphragm from activities it wasn't supposed to be doing um i'm pretty happy with it and i guess i will keep everyone updated on how long this product here lasts me i saw some reviews about um people saying that like in between here like starting to crack and fall apart and rip apart and everything so I hope and only after a few days so I hope that I do not have to deal with that that made me extremely sad um so hopefully this lasts for a while I just wanted to kind of give my first impressions of it um let me show you guys the packaging that it came in so it came in the Amazon box and then it came in here so this is a carrying case for like if you're on the go you just like fold it up and pop that in there and it comes with like instructions I think I don't know I didn't open this because in my head I kind of already know what to do so I didn't look at any of this so for this case you kind of just squeeze it open and slide it in there and then you're good to go and you can bring this with you wherever yeah there's barely any instructions like the super tiny manual to me not even worth the read but I guess if you're unfamiliar with all of that it could be helpful um so yeah that's just my first impressions of the ziggy cup and hope all goes well maybe one day i'll try those other brands the nixit and the um the luma just to see if maybe that works better for me because i've tried a few different cups and my conclusion is that they're not particularly for me Granted, there could be some magic brand that really works, but I find I just find this so much easier. You don't have to worry about getting it in the right position. Well, I mean, you do, but it's it's not as hard to get it in the right position. You just pop it in there, you tuck this part. If you say this is because it's the smaller part of the egg. Say this is um, how you're putting it in. You just tuck this back behind your pubic bone, and you call it a day. I don't know. It's just way easier for me. Um, so if this helps anybody, give it a try. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video.